Hi there, I'm Matt Kemp from the Underground Cookery School. We do corporate team building. And I'm going to show you a number of couscous recipes today. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a fish couscous. Well, the first step of the process is actually making the couscous, which is incredibly simple. Um, if you stick to these measures, you'll always be okay. I've got 250 grams of couscous. Um, try and keep it in a, um, a, a regular bowl rather than stainless steel because you don't want the couscous to inherit that flavour. I've got some stock here, but you can use water or you can use stock cube. I've actually just got some on the, on the boil here, so I'm just going to take that off. And I'm going to measure up um, 400 millilitres. Um, so I've already got 300 in this pan. So I'm just going to add an extra 100, making it up to four. You can see the steam coming off of that, so you know that it's hot. The key to this is it does have to be hot. Now I'm just going to add a few cubes of butter, a dash of olive oil, and a little pinch of salt. And believe it or not, this is pretty much all that's required. I'm just going to mix those ingredients in. Um, it's, it's best if you can um, to make sure that they've evenly combined. So the butter cubes that I've got um, should be um, melted into that stock. Um, and all you have to do to cook couscous off is now, um, with that stock, is add it to the couscous, which I'm going to do now, like that. And as you can see, the couscous is now completely submerged in um, uh, the stock. But we're just going to leave it there for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is all it's going to take and that will be beautifully cooked. I'm going to show you how to cook the salmon, which is going to be uh, obviously the, one of the main components um, for fish couscous. Over here I've got a pan and I'm going to turn the temperature up to as high as it will go. Um, I've got some olive oil here, which I'm going to use um, as garnish um, at the very end, uh, but I'm actually going to cook with vegetable oil. And whenever you pan fry fish, always use vegetable oil, don't use olive oil. And the reason is olive oil burns at a very low temperature. Um, and if it burns too low, um, all that's going to happen is the oil's going to burn and then you'll be able to taste the, the flavor of the burnt oil in the fish. Um, whereas uh, with a vegetable oil, or you could always use, you could use something like a grapeseed oil, uh, sorry, rapeseed oil or um, sunflower, corn oil, and any of those uh, sorts of things will work really nicely. But the first trick, is just to evenly glaze the bottom of the pan. You don't want too much, but at the same time, you don't want too little. And I'm just gonna keep that going for maybe another 10 seconds. Um, what I've got here is just a lovely fillet of fresh salmon, um, which I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning to, not much, just a pinch of salt and pepper on both sides. And in that time, it just allows um, that oil to come up to the temperature that I want. Right, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna lay the fish in the pan. I'm gonna lay it, when you put anything into a pan, always lay it away from you like that. I like to give it a good old shake just to check that it's, uh, the proteins aren't gonna to stick to the bottom of the pan. So just keep it moving. And the amazing thing about cooking fish uh, or pan frying it is how little time it takes. Now a fillet of this size, which is about 175, 180 grams, maybe a, a touch more. Um, this is only going to take about a minute and a half both sides. And it really is as simple as um, almost um, when half a side of the salmon has been cooked, you can flip it over. Um, and we're almost at that point. So I'm just going to use my um, spatula, as I said before, just cooking away from you or, or, or pushing it away from you keep that pan moving. At this point, I'm now going to turn the temperature down because I don't need it quite so hot. And that's just going to carry on cooking. Um, now we've had about 30 seconds each side. I'm just going to turn it over one more time just to keep it moving. I'm going to let that carry on cooking for another 30 seconds. Over on the other side for another 30 seconds and then we're done. Personally, I like the salmon virtually sushi. So I like it nice and pink on the inside. Um, and if you prefer your, your fish cooked all the way through, then obviously another minute is probably about as much as it's going to take. Um, so I'm just going to carry on a little bit more with that. All the while, what you want to do is ensure that the, the fat 
um, doesn't burn. And I'm just going to give it a nice even finish. And I want to give it another 30 seconds because I can. So consequently, I've turned it over again. All those flavors will be locked in. We've seasoned it before it's gone into the pan. Um, and what I'm going to do now, now that was where the raw fish was on, so I'm going to um, leave that as is. But I'm now just going to let that rest on there for about 30 seconds. So all we're going to do now is just build the dish. The, the couscous is nice and ready. It's actually beautifully fluffy. I, normally I, I tip it in just to fluff it up, but it actually, it's the, as you can see, it's the perfect texture. I'm going to lay this in the centre of the plate, as close to the centre as I can. There we go. Um, now, as I said, this, this um, fish, I've cooked it, so it's going to be um, beautifully pink in the middle. But if I just uh, cut it into little strips there, it's almost like sashimi, actually. Um, I think this is how you would serve the perfect fish couscous. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. And there you have the perfect fish couscous.